Have you ever wondered how those websites with tons of Amazon product links actually make money? Well, let me show you how you can build one for yourself so you can get in on the deal. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you'll learn about the Amazon Affiliate Marketing Program and how you can build your own affiliate website from scratch so you can watch those sweet commissions roll in. Amazon Associates is undoubtedly the most popular marketing program in the world, with more than 48% of the global market share. Given this fact, it's a no-brainer that Amazon Affiliate Marketing is so popular for being one of the ways to make money online. If we're talking numbers, the commission rate ranges from 1% to 10%, depending on the product category. While these digits may seem modest at first, the platform has high conversion rates and broad product categories. This way, affiliates are likely to create substantial earning potential. Additionally, you can benefit from volume-based commissions to earn more as you drive increased sales. If you want to join this program, you must own a website as written in the requirements. To tell you the good news, WordPress is one of the best website creation platforms, offering the versatility and reliability needed to be a perfect pairing partner for the affiliate program. Especially with the resources available today, launching your WordPress affiliate website is an easy task. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to build an Amazon affiliate website with hosting your Amazon affiliate WordPress plugin. With it, you'll have everything you need to create a website from clear product listing to layout editing. We even provide a pre-built site as a great jumping off point so you can cut several steps of building an affiliate website. If you like this video so far, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you won't miss out on new tutorials that we post every single week. Okay, now let's start with buying a managed WordPress hosting plan. WordPress is a highly scalable platform that can handle websites no matter the size, making it a very sustainable option for running business websites. If you pick managed WordPress hosting to keep it running, our own experts will help you set up your website's backend. In other words, you'll only need to focus on building the website's overall design and promoting your affiliate links. However, if you purchase hosting your business plan or higher, you'll get the option to make use of the Hostinger Amazon Affiliate WordPress plugin. With that in mind, let's now head to hostinger.com slash WordPress hosting to purchase it. Hover over the business plan and select Add to Cart. Once you're on the checkout page, choose a registration period. I recommend going for the 48th month plan to get the best deal possible. Next, create a new Hostinger account or log in if you already have one. You can also connect your Google account for this step. Select your preferred payment method and fill in your information. As a nice treat for our loyal viewers out there, enter the WP10 coupon code to claim an extra 10% discount and click Submit Secure Payment. Wait a few moments and you'll be redirected to HPanel to complete the website onboarding process. First, you'll need to answer a few quick questions to set you on the right path. Next, choose WordPress with AI as your website creation toolkit. After that, create login details for your WordPress account. Do consider using a password manager to keep such sensitive information secure. All right, in the next step, choose affiliate marketing as the type of website that you want to build. You'll be offered the option to pick the hosting or affiliate theme by default. It's designed to be a perfect pair to the plugin, so I'm going to use it throughout this video. But if you prefer another one, you can also pick one from the theme library. Now you can select a set of recommended plugins. Choose your own preferred ones or skip this step entirely to add them later. In this case, I'll pick the recommended plugin set. On the following page, you can describe what your website will be all about and our AI tool will generate a website copy for you. Of course, if you prefer writing all the content from scratch, you can skip this step as well. Now it's time to create a domain name. Simply type the domain name you desire and it will automatically look up if it's available. If it is, claim your free domain name here. If your domain is hosted somewhere else, you'll need to transfer it and confirm the ownership of the domain. Lastly, choose the best server location for your target audience from the drop-down menu. With all of that taken care of, it will only take a couple of minutes until the website creation process is finished, and we can finally access your WordPress dashboard. Once you're here, you can find the Hostinger Amazon Affiliate Plugin by finding the Hostinger tab in the left side menu of the WordPress dashboard and opening the Amazon Affiliate tab. As shown here, the Amazon Affiliate feature integrates with other functionalities of the existing hosting plugins. It's just something to keep in mind. Now, the first step is to connect your Amazon Associates account with the Hostinger plugin. For this, you will need an Amazon Associate account and the API and tracking keys that they provide. 
If you haven't created an Amazon Associates account yet, you can do that by following the link in the description below the video and going through the registration process. Once you're done with all of that, copy and paste the API keys you obtained from the Product Advertising API tab on the Amazon Associates website. Choose your Amazon region from the drop-down menu and type in your tracking ID. Hit this button to connect and that's it! You can now see the API status which shows it as connected. If you ever want to change the API preferences, you can go back to this page and enter this menu. Meanwhile, you can change the table data collections here. For more information and guides on how you can use the plugin, you can find the available resources on this page. Alright, since we're all done with this step, I'll show you an easy way to add a product to your page. It's all up to you how to promote your products in a post, where you can also incorporate snippets of the product. The good news about having the hosting or Amazon affiliate plugin is that you'll have a shortcut regarding that. Pretty sweet, right? If you've ever stuck or don't know what to write in the post, simply navigate to the hostinger menu and open the AI Content Creator tab. Start by choosing your content type, tone of voice, and the content length you prefer. Then describe what you want to write here. What's awesome is that you can write down the focus target keyword here as well for the outcome to be more SEO friendly. Click Generate Content to get a post draft ready. Then click Edit as Draft to enter the post editor interface. Don't forget to convert your content to blocks as we'll need it for the Hostinger affiliate plugin. As you can see, there are several products on the list for which you can add affiliate product links. You only need to add a new block and find the Link Amazon Products button. Select the product layout you prefer to showcase. By default, the options include displaying it either as a single item or multiple items in a list or comparison table format. Let's go with the single product first, which will give two elements to add to the product by typing the ASIN number or simply browsing. If you're not familiar with that, ASIN number is a unique code used to identify Amazon's products on their marketplace. If you're curious, you can find it while browsing any product when logged into your Amazon Associate account. Or make it easy by browsing the product you want to feature. Click the product, then confirm selection. Voila! The snippet of your product is now created just like that. To further customize it, go to this block settings panel where you can change the product title and tweak the maximum number of characters you wish to display. For the description, the plugin provides automatic sync from Amazon's product description page. Simply turn this toggle on if you want to feature the description or you can override it by enabling this toggle instead and providing your own copywriting. The next element you can customize is the text shown on the buy button. If the default button looks fine, you don't have to change anything. Under the advanced settings, you're also allowed to add your own CSS class. Now, if you prefer having a list of products instead, let's try adding a multiple product list in the post. The process is rather similar. You just have to add the link Amazon product block. For this time, let's select this one and let's go with this option for the tool to display the best selling products on Amazon. Choose the layout you prefer, but no worries, you can still change it later from the block settings panel. Once done, click add best sellers. And there you go, you'll see three products in the list now. In case this layout doesn't quite fit, you can change it from this panel over here. Or if these aren't the products you want, change the options by choosing this menu to search for any specific product on Amazon. All right. Suppose you're pleased with the look of your product and layout, yet you're looking to expand your product range. Change the number of items under this list setting. You can add up to 10 products in a list. The rest of the settings will remain the same as with adding a single product. Now, let's try adding a comparison table. This will assist readers in making well-informed decisions by comparing the product side by side. By the way, you'll need to provide the table data first if you want to go with this feature. Navigate to the Amazon Affiliate menu under Hostinger from your WordPress dashboard. Find the table configuration settings and create a new table. Give it a name, then add the product's ASINs or search for them on Amazon. Confirm your selection and configure how you want the products to appear on the table. Set the text to display on the columns and change the fill-in color of it if you wish. Once done, set how you want the table of row to appear. Hit Save Changes once you're done. Go back to the post editor, repeat the process of adding a product, choose comparison table, then pick the newly configured table from the drop down menu. Review your post once again and don't forget to save the post as a draft or publish it. 
And that's pretty much how you can add a product to your post. Simple as that. What do you think about this? Drop your first thoughts on this feature and any tweaks you'd love to see down below. Okay, now let's customize the site's design. The hosting or affiliate theme will show a homepage by default, featuring the snippet of all your posts. To make the site more vibrant, you can add more elements like more pages or a navigation menu and tweak the overall design. No worries, I'll show you how. First, design the pages you wish to have on the site. By default, we have the home page, so as an example, I'll add the about, contact, privacy policy, and disclaimer pages as well. Why privacy policy and disclaimer, you ask? Well, they ensure legality and trust for an affiliate marketing website. If it seems like it's gonna be a lot of work, don't you worry. Remember when I showed you how to use the AI content generator to create a post? Well, you can also use it to create pages. Simply repeat the same process and it's done. For example, I'll create a disclaimer page with the following prompt. Feel free to edit the content as you want to publish it once everything is set. Repeat the process until all the pages have been created. If you want to make further changes or add more pages, simply navigate to the Pages menu where you'll be able to see a list of all your web pages. Nice! With all the pages ready, let's configure the site's appearance. Head to Appearance and choose Customize. You can easily tweak the overall website design here from the site title, logo, favicon, and the theme color to the site layout. I believe the process to change all of those elements will be intuitive no matter who you are. So I'll skip it for now and instead tell you how to embed pages created earlier on the homepage. Okay, now go to widgets, which is actually the place to organize your overall site layout. Choose page home sidebar and add a new page list block. And there you have it. You can now see the pages embedded on the site's homepage. This will significantly improve the overall user experience by streamlining page navigation on your site. Next, I'll add a footer widget to display social media buttons. Click the plus button to pick the social media channel you want to feature. Then click on the platform's logo to add a link to your page. Looking at the preview, I think the site's looking way better now, don't you think? If that's the case, hit publish to apply all the changes. Keep in mind that what I showed you in this video was just an example, and I encourage you to customize your site further, all according to your needs and preferences. Besides what's being shown on the front end, you can boost your site's functionality with all sorts of third-party plugins available. Remember that we chose hosting your Amazon affiliate and all-in-one SEO during onboarding? Well, Lightspeed Cache is also installed by default to improve the site's performance. To give you more recommendations, I suggest having Monster Insights and OptinMonster activated on your site. Monster Insights help you track your website traffic and see how visitors are interacting with your affiliate links. It also integrates with Google Analytics so that you can see detailed reports on your website's performance. Meanwhile, OptinMonster helps you create opt-in forms to collect email addresses from your visitors. This is a great way to build an email list so you can promote your affiliate offers to your subscribers. Okay, at this point, you've got your website's essential elements sorted out. All we need to do now is launch your website. Before launching a website, check for any issues that might affect the viewing experience and usability of your website. There are different ways to test a website before going live. First, ask your family and friends to access your website. This way, you'll gain more insights into your website from a visitor's perspective. And don't forget to prepare a feedback form to make the data collection even easier. Be sure to ask about their overall experience on the website, including its design, navigation, features, and mobile responsiveness, just to name a few. If not, you can A-B test the website using tools like Google Optimize or Nelio A-B testing to compare two versions of a website. This technique provides data-driven insights into which version works better. Okay, lastly, run a speed test so you'll know the areas where your site needs improvement. Some helpful tools for this are GT Metrics, Web Page Test, and Google Page Speed Insights. That's important as having a fast loading website attracts more visitors and keeps their attention to browse through. Okay, once you've got all of these sorted out, you're good to launch your website and promote it. And that is one simple and easy way to create your affiliate website. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends. Make sure you don't miss any hosting or academy videos like this in the future by clicking the subscribe button and turning on your notifications. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on your affiliate marketing journey.